Hello everyone, this is Randy, your sewing machine man. What we have this evening, well this morning, wherever you're at, is a Brother Disney. And it's a SE270D, sewing and embroidery. That's the SE, D stands for Disney, so it's a SE270. And uh, this is the little, uh, they call it self-threading, but it's not going to thread itself. You're going to have to load this cartridge Put the thread in, go through the steps, one, two, three, four, five, six, push it down in, click, click, and it threads itself. Sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. This is a very, very notorious little machine because, uh, A, it's popular because it says Disney, and uh, that's, a, that's a good brand name for sure. And it's not a bad little machine except for the fact that they got to take something that just works and make it not work by just jazzing it up with all this do-it-yourself stuff. So uh, it will sew it, it will thread itself every now and then. But the problem with this is it's so fraught with peril for getting it threaded correctly that this is the one machine that probably out of the box causes more frustration than anybody else, uh, any other machine rather. Uh, a lot of my customers just wish they hadn't bought it. And it's not one that I would recommend. Uh, this one came in because it was nesting. And when they say it's nesting, that's the new familiar phrase. Uh, the popular phrase when it's making big loops underneath, but of course you flip it over and it looks like a nest. So I guess that's an honest name, nesting. I'm hearing that a lot lately because there's a lot of machines if you use oversized thread, if you don't thread it properly, if you miss your take up lever, or if it has a situation like this where uh, you thread it and sometimes it goes in, sometimes it doesn't, you're going to have issues. But this little guy right here is uh, pretty pricey. And the money you spend, I think it could be better spent elsewhere. I would not recommend this machine. The people that have it, there's probably half the people like it, half the people throw rocks at it, they don't like it. So that's just the way it is with this little guy. And uh, if you have a chance to get one of these, I would uh, look a little further, see if there's something else out there. Uh, you might get one of the ones that works like a charm, but that's... Uh, that's uh, what, luck of the draw, uh, rolling the dice, whatever you want to call it. Uh, if you take uh, 10 out of the box and 5 work and 5 don't, which one are you going to get? So, this little guy is not on my list of favorite machines. I'm not the biggest brother fan in the world. They have some higher end machines that are good, but when they get down in the little light ones, this little guy is a challenge. Uh, you get these little plastic bobbin cases and it spins out and the needle hits it on the side over here and you got to probably set out and set the thread gap that's really what was going on with this one but it's functioning now and it's going to function up to its abilities and its capabilities which aren't really that much but keep it on light stuff don't challenge it don't sew anything heavy and then put up with this persnickety threading procedure and you might like your machine but for me i'll take a pass on the disney se 270d